To store energy, we need a device called electrolyzer that are splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is the energy carrier and that is stored in a cylinder. When there is a need for energy, hydrogen is fed from the cylinder to a fuel cell. Out of the fuel cell we have electricity and the byproduct thermal heat at 65 degrees C. Around the world, scientists and engineers are developing a number of solutions. The main approach, of course, is to introduce the solar and wind power, which we will also need to store beyond immediate consumption or even seasonally. So, here come batteries and hydrogen. Welcome to the west coast of Sweden. You are currently in an off-grid house in Gothenburg. What used to be one man and his family's dream of being off-grid has developed into being the living lab for Nielsen Energy. Let's learn more how all of these pieces of technology work together and with the house. There are different types of electrolyzers. The most common is alkaline and PEM. And what you see here is a PEM version. And the capacity on this one is one normal cubic meter per hour. The fuel cell you see here is a PEM version. And the main function of the fuel cell is to charge the battery storage. At the same time as it shows the batteries to a predefined state of charge, it also delivers thermal heat that is used for heating the house and uh, producing warm water. One of the completed projects by Nissan Energy has furnished a 250 kilowatt solar system with electrolysis and storage for the Mariestad hydrogen station, which is to date one of only three in Sweden. The most important thing is that we are storing renewable energy until it's needed. As simple as that.